So we're here to talk about the brand new Mizuno Wave Sky 8. The Wave Sky series has been one of my favorite series since it came out. It is a fantastic shoe. It's more of a plus shoe. Typically in the past, I've run in previous versions of other series like the Rider and the Inspire, which are fantastic shoes. But if you like a softer, uh, more plush shoe, that is a neutral shoe, an everyday trainer, the Sky is a fantastic option. So let's get into some of the specs and then I'm going to share with you my opinions after running about 25 miles in this shoe. Comes in at about 9.9 .9 ounces for men's size 9 and 8.1 ounces for a women's size 8. The midsole in this shoe is one I really want to talk about. It's very interesting. Mizuno has been coming out with some great looking shoes from like the Mizuno Neo Vista. Fantastic shoe. Uh, the Mizuno Wave Rider 28, Rebellion Flash 2, also the Rebellion Pro 2. So this shows the innovation that Mizuno has been pushing for. But this Mizuno uh, Energy Next foam is a very fantastic, durable, responsive foam that I've, I, that I've enjoyed in some of these other shoes. It doesn't have the hard, rigid wave plate in the shoe. It's got a two-layered uh, uh, foam wave plate they have in this which the top layer of the foam is euphoric x and the other is mizuno energy foam uh, it's a fantastic feeling shoe as soon as you put it on the heel which is a little more rigid in here definitely not something that's going to collapse a little bit of a flare like they've been putting on other shoes that's the rider 28 you see it in the uh, neo vista the flare they have there kind of see it in the Re uh, wave rebellion pro 2 not as pronounced, and also in the Wave Rebellion Flash 2. Uh, I don't see it as causing any problem on my heel, but the, the heel just sat and locked in very well. Uh, the outsole is the X10 rubber that you see in a lot of Mizuno shoes. See a little bit of rare wear there after about 25 miles. It's been very hot. I've been running in 100 degree waves, waves, heat waves, 100 degree days, uh, and the shoe has done well. Foot doesn't feel unduly hot. Uh, it does breathe enough. This upper in the shoe is this is uh, a smooth weight. stretch woven material. So you can see in certain areas, it has kind of a woven material and it's a little bit more stable than others. So it stretches where it needs to and does not stretch uh, in some, mar some areas to maintain the form of the shoe. It has a fully gusseted tongue on the inside here, if you can see. And the laces are not too long, which some of the other shoes they have, the laces are way too long and it becomes a little bit annoying. Uh, the shoe locked down well and felt fantastic right out of the box. It's a very stable feeling shoe with support, as you can see here, even though it is a neutral shoe. Uh, it is, uh, again, 41 millimeters in the back, 31 or 33 in the front for eight millimeter drop. And I can tell you that after running in something like the Mizuno Neo Vista, which is a super super trainer and very uh, squishy and responsive. Uh, it does feel a little unstable in comparison to these other shoes, like say something like the Rider 28. Rider 28 feels very much like it's on a very good platform. It's stable, uh, not obviously not squishy. It's not as soft as the Sky 8. The Sky, Wave Sky 8 is the more plush, squishy version of their everyday trainer. Uh, and it's not, I don't think it's going to give you any issues with long runs. I've run about an hour and a half in these and it felt fantastic. And I've also done tempo runs in these, which it also felt uh, snappy and responsive uh, that it didn't cause any kind of problems. So I, I think this can kind of make a good uh, place in your lineup for an everyday trainer. There is a good amount of material in the shoe, good or bad. If you have a wider foot, I think it's going to uh, allow for you to have it but as I crank this shoe down uh, it definitely causes a little bit of that action going in it and I haven't had any issues with it it doesn't rub on my foot but if you have a super narrow foot that could become problematic so this is definitely something that if you want to go into a store and try it on and, and and try to lock the shoe down and make sure that you're not you know running out of room here when you have to crank down on this shoe now I took the shoe off when it was still tied so you can see how much room I have left. So it's still leaving some room there. 
overall fantastic shoe again 25 miles in it after i get to 50 or 100 miles i'll review it again to see how it's wearing uh, i do see somewhere in the forefoot like i said nothing terrible um, it has been extremely hot the the first time i ran in the shoe it was about 100 degrees out and then uh, i did some track workout that was also 100 degrees so this this shoe's been on some very hot surfaces and it's doing well now overall i would highly recommend the mizuno uh, wave sky eight for an everyday trainer fantastic shoe it mixes a good support stability with a very cushiony and responsive midsole i think you'll love it